Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologize for the frames uh, last video. I did not think it was going to be that bad, but it re it really was. Uh, I'm just going to get a new editing software, uh, change my OBS settings, etc. And uh, I just want to have fun here in general. But before I start off this video, there's another thing I want to apologize for. I would like to apologize to Kyle, 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 whatever you know him as. I'd like to apologize to him and his family for the stupid, funny, idiotic comments that I made. That they just didn't agree. They didn't think that, that was funny. Which uh, I understand. Looking back at it, it's very dumb and very rude, rude of me to say. Uh, but if you do know me, uh, you know I do not like apologizing. Uh, you say it's a sign of weakness, apologizing is for the dumb, only suck-ups apologize, whatever. All that. So that's why I'm just going to end that there. I don't really want to get into it. But let's get into the topic of this actual video. Which is the Tuesday Night War. This is a topic of my interest because if you didn't know, I was I am a huge fan of SCW, SCW Stampede, uh, SCW pay-per-views. I love the way Mighty runs things and everything. I I really do. But also, if you were a real wrestler in general, you know APRW is being the biggest. But what you didn't know is. APRW Mayhem, most of the time, goes against SCW Stampede. Obviously, APRW gets more attendance, gets more people, and all that. But, you have to keep in mind, they have been the biggest. They have been on top ever since RCW shut down. It's just how it, how it works and how it goes. It's simple. And, it's just, that's how it is. But I would also, also you have to look at uh, SCAB Stampede every Tuesday night at 30 p.m. Eastern Time. They are getting attendance like 64 people, 65 people, almost up to 70 people. And uh, APRW it just has a max limit of 70 people a show. And they're still breaking servers. They're still doing that, of course. But you, you gotta just look at that, man. It's crazy that S. SCW can do something like that. A little Southern Indie Promotional Fed, uh, well that's what it's supposed to be, can do something like that. It's amazing. It's awesome. But you also have to look, you know, at AP, you still you have to look, oh, you've got to be kidding me. But, honestly, you have to look at SCW and just be proud that you have to because SCW's fighting back. They're fighting back. They're not having it. They're not letting APRW take their time slot. Uh, this I think last week it was uh, APRW Destiny because they didn't do Destiny last Friday. And uh, but normally it is uh, it's mayhem. But that's besides the point. SCW is still fighting back. SCW is still getting amazing attendance along with APRW. I'm not discarding APRW at all, but I'm being honest, I've always been a better, more of a fan of SCW than APRW. Yeah, SCW doesn't have a YouTube channel with a thousand subscribers. Yeah, SCW doesn't, you know, get break servers and stuff. But it's. It's. If they're fighting back, man, just on their attendance alone, just on their how f supportive their fans are, and I just, it's amazing, honestly. And that's why, that's why I've always been a fan of SCW. Ever since I debuted, I think, I don't know, a month, no, not a month ago, like, a little bit before quarantine, I'd say. Like a little bit before quarantine, when I debuted, 
I just it was amazing, honestly. And then there's they have amazing staff like uh, Jess Christ, uh, Alex Wonder, Iris Harper. I know Alex Wonder personally. He devs for uh, my pet Alex W. And uh, he's a good dude. It, ABRW ain't giving up. But then you. Sorry, SCW ain't getting up. I just had like a little hiccup or something. I don't know. But then you have to get into APRW staff, which isn't all that good. Uh, they have Moxley. I never really liked Mox. Uh, I just don't. And then there's Santa Club. I hate Santa Club with every inch of my body. Hate him, hate him, hate him, hate him. Oh my god, he's just such a dick. Oh, he's such an asshole. I, it's terrible, dude. I hate Sama. And they just, they just take... Sama just takes all of Ken's shit. Just gets him in. Let it, lets it in and just wants to get relevant so bad. Oh, my lord. So, Sama is just so irritating and so annoying. It's such a bad person in general. He doesn't get in trouble for it because he's popular. That's how that's how real wrestling works. That's I know. I I just I hate it. I hate it. I've always hated it. That's how real wrestling works and it sucks. It really does. And then we got uh Ken. Ken isn't as bad as Mox or Sama. I like Ken. He's a uh, okay. But, you know, never not everyone's perfect. Not everyone's perfect. There's no perfect Fed host. There's no perfect Fed. There's no perfect Fed owner. There's no perfect Fed staff. It's it's just how life works. And and then there's Ken. Ken is probably the most popular wrestler right now, besides probably Kid Jericho or something. Which I also dislike Kid Jericho very much for many many reasons. Uh, we, maybe we could do a video with Santo discussing that or something, I don't know. Uh, but... <sighs> Sorry, I have the hiccups today or something, I don't know. But, uh... Back to my point. Ken is the, probably the most popular real wrestler out here right now. With being, like, R RPW, Intercontinental and World Heavyweight Champion, DWF World Champion, uh multiple other feds and then he owns the number one fed in row wrestling right now and it just it's crazy it really is but that's about it for this video uh sport scw sport aprw do whatever you want i, I don't judge you but just remember be who you are stay safe and say hi to your mom for me